Girl, stick to what you have at the house. Stop just buying stuff to buy it. These are the steps that I'm gonna take in 2024 to not only help me plan out my meals this year, but to also help me save money when I go grocery shopping. Grab yourself a coffee, a matcha, a tea, because we're about to get into the details. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shakayla. I create and share delicious plant-based recipes and inspiration. If you're returning, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Didn't we say that in 2024, we're gonna save money. We said we're gonna eat at home because we got food at home. We said we are going to make smarter decisions with our finances. Raise your hand if you said that. Okay, right. So I wanted to kind of share some tips and things that I plan to do this year to help me save money on groceries. All right, let's go. Grab yourself a coffee, a matcha, a tea, because we're about to get into the details. These are the steps that I'm gonna take in 2024 to not only help me plan out my meals this year, but to also help me save money when I go grocery shopping. First up, I'm gonna take inventory of everything I have at the house. I'm gonna go through my fridge. I'm gonna go through my freezer. Then I'm gonna go through the pantry. There is a high possibility that I'm gonna be able to put meals together using something I already have at home. And not only am I gonna go through my inventory for that, I'm gonna go through my inventory so that when I get to the grocery store, I'm not buying something that I already have. I've fallen victim to it so many times where I go to the grocery store, I buy something, I come home, only to realize that I already have it. I'm not doing that this year. I'm not doing that. So before I go to the grocery store, the farmer's market, I'm gonna check out what I have in the fridge, what I have in the pantry, the freezer, and the spice cabinets to make sure I don't duplicate any purchases going to the grocery store. The next thing I'm gonna do is think about three to four proteins that I want to enjoy for the week. And the goal of that is to see if I can pull any of those proteins from what I currently have at the house. So three to four proteins that I wanna enjoy this week with my meals. I want to have some tofu, I wanna to have lentils, and I wanna have pea protein crumbles. I can do so much with those three items. I know I have two of the three, so I have lentils and I have pea protein crumbles. The only thing I don't have is tofu. So I'm gonna add that to my list. The next thing I wanna do is think about the carbs that I wanna have for the week. So I would say I'm gonna have maybe like two to four different types of carbs this week but again you can pull those from the inventory that you currently have i know i have quinoa i know i have pasta protein pasta i know i have sweet potatoes that's three right there now if you don't have any carbs that you want to enjoy this week at the house add it to your grocery list the next thing i'm going to do is think about four to five veggies that i want to have for the week after i take inventory if i don't have enough vegetables then i'm gonna add what i need or what i want to the list so after i make a list of everything i have go through the protein carbs and veggies i'm gonna think about how i can pair these things together to create complete meals and with chat gbt out there you can honestly plug in some of this and it will likely spit back out a recipe for you so for my proteins i have black lentils in there if i have some frozen spinach or frozen kale if i have some carrots that i did not use a yellow onion i have lentil stew right there now that you've done all that you've thought about the meals that you can possibly have, there may be some items missing, right? So what's missing? Make a list of what you actually don't have that you need to buy. Now, of what's missing, then you can see if any apps like Ibotta, Checkout 51, or the grocery store that you shop at, if they're running any deals or specials on the items from your list. Now, there is a chance that the item that they're running specials on are not on your list, but maybe they could be good substitutes or alternatives to use. For example, you may have soy sauce on your list. That's something that you need to buy, but they have coconut aminos on sale. That's an easy swap. So I also consider that. So we have our list. We know what's on sale and where if it is on sale. I used to do this all the time and I need to get back to doing this because it really helps me save money. I would often go to more than one place to shop for my groceries. I really love going to the farmer's market. You can get in-season produce from local farmers and it's a lot cheaper than going to the grocery store because it's in season, you're getting it directly from the source. Another thing you can do is if it's not a specialty item, you can check out Aldi, 
Walmart, Kroger, and get those non-specialty items that aren't available at the farmer's market. Those are the stores that typically have the cash back offers or the coupons that you can then use. And then after that, say you need a specialty item that is not typically sold at one of these major retailers, then you'll go to those specialty organic health food stores. But I would recommend leaving that for last because those stores can be a bit more pricey than the farmer's market. Actually, not a bit. They can definitely be way more expensive than the farmer's market or your regular retailers. If you have the ability and the capacity to make more than one trip, I definitely recommend doing so to help you save money. And the very last thing that I would suggest doing, you cook your meals, you enjoyed your meals, and at the end of the week, you have some leftover items. Maybe you do, hopefully you don't. And if you do, one thing I enjoy doing to help save me money on buying unnecessary items is if I have something at the end of the week that I didn't get around to using, I know if I keep it in the fridge, it's gonna go bad. I'll put that in a freezer safe bag and freeze it. For example, I've had kale that was gonna go bad at the end of the week. What I like to do is throw it in one of those bags, freeze it. I've used it in smoothies, I've used it in stews, soups, my tofu scrambles, all the things. You have some items left over, freeze them. My dog is trotting in here. <laughs> you gotta wait, buddy. No. Bud, you have to wait. If you have carrots, you have celery, maybe some mushrooms that were probably gonna go bad, you can throw those in a vegetable broth bag and freeze it to make a large batch of your own vegetable broth. That's a really good way to repurpose some either scraps or vegetables that you have no intention of using again. So those are the steps that I plan to take this year to help me save money on grocery shopping and to help me meal plan. I really believe that taking inventory of what I currently have and trying to build meals around that versus coming up with all new meals, that is going to be a game changer. And then when it comes to meal planning, thinking of three proteins, three carbs, and a bunch of vegetables that I wanna enjoy for the week, that will really help me not overthink my meals for the week. And to kinda of just keep things simple so that I'm not just buying random stuff. If you have any tips or strategies that you implement, please leave them in the comment section so that we can all learn from each other. I am determined to not spend so much money at the grocery store. I can go to the grocery store every day if I really wanted to when I think about oh I need this ingredient or oh I'm having this craving girl stick to what you have at the house stop just buying stuff to buy it I really hope that you enjoyed this video as well as the rest of the videos in my Veganuary series for this month again I'm posting every other day this month and the videos are created and designed to help you on your plant-based journey to help make cooking easier to show you that this is attainable to show you that this is something that you can do because I'm rooting for you. I will see you in the next video and I really hope that you enjoyed these tips.